Well, I'm just in the garage again, just reassembling this Honda EU 2000i generator, doing some videos on the stator testing. And according to the readings, my stator should be bad. Everything, the exciter coil, the sub coil, AC coil, DC coil, is all reading higher resistance than what it says. And the service manual tells you that it does that inspect the wiring harness and our replaced stator, but I'm still generating power so has me a little bit worried but let's get the gas tank and everything on because I want this finished by Wednesday so I can work on the chainsaw by Friday so there's the gas tank on the floor well I got everything back together just double check the oil because this thing's kind of finicky if it's not like over full it won't uh, says that it's low on oil well I got that little heater over there, so I guess I should start it up before we get too crazy, make sure that everything works, instead of putting it all back together and find out that something was wrong. Ignition on, choke is on. The fuck was that? I don't know what happened there, but something backfired. Hopefully, I got that on camera. And it uh, sounds like something shot out. Hopefully, there's no damage anywhere. Let's inspect it and then fire it up again. some talk of doing some winter camping soon and last year was a fail because of my sleeping bag so this time I picked up a minus 32 degrees Celsius minus 25 degree Fahrenheit tent and sleeping bag Tomcat is it too cold outside for you now is it too cold outside for you yeah you don't like the winter do you I hope this thing works as good as the box it came in. Pretty fancy looking box. Maybe it's all packaging and no product. Let's have a look. That's a pretty hefty looking package there, I tell you. Wow, that's a pretty serious sleeping bag right here. See, we got a little cell phone pouch. Turn the furnace off. Fedora was over last night and he picked up that light bar. He's gonna mount it on his Jeep using a Arduino servo <clears throat> that's gonna open and close the lens on it. So when he travels to British Columbia, he's not gonna get fined because you have to have your off-road lights covered because uh, it's not legal even if they're off. And uh, he also said there's a Tupperware reversion too. So once that's installed, we're gonna have a look at that and see what's happening. But we're back in the garage. I'm going to uh, bust out the Mac ohm meter that's on the floor in the case and compare the readings with this Chinese one because the other day when I was shooting those videos well it turns out that uh, everything about the stator was testing bad yet the stator's still good so let's figure this out we're supposed to have a resistance of 0.1 to 0.2 so gone I'd say I got a resistance of 0.6. There we go, 0.1. Right on the money. Well, that answers my question. Don't trust this one for shit. Because this one here was dead on what we're supposed to be reading. But let's get the cover and everything else back on this generator and then call it a day. Somebody else has sent me another jump starter battery. Should be here in a week or so. They say they can guarantee it can pass my torture test and is better than the car Rover and the NOCO. So we're gonna see. We'll see about that. Mr. Tom, can you come inside to visit? Did you come inside to visit? Okay, this is what I discovered. 
Remember I talked about a rod lean I had with this thing? Well, there's isolator mounts, and there's supposed to be two of them, but there's only one, and all the teeth are rubbed off on this side. So I'm thinking, because the isolator vibrates on this side, that's where that rattling noise is coming from. However, this is what I'm gonna do. Little Jeep coil here. I'm gonna pull one of these boots off, cut it. You know, it's not as wide, but as long as it fits on there, it's all that matters. And this one here, and I'm just gonna cut it down. That end off. Getting these covers on is always usually a treat. Yeah, this old girl's been a part a few times. There's a lot of mismatching screws in her. Tools are somewhat cleaned up off oh, one wrench. What is it? Nine millimeter. You got metric up top. See how I keep everything organized? Yeah, no fucks given. Just throw it around. Let's grab this bad boy, take it outside. Well, I got 10W30 oil in it now, and it's supposed to have 530 because of the temperature, so we'll see how well it wants to start. gonna let it run outside for like five ten minutes make sure there's no issues because last thing you want to do is pretend that it's good and let it run for ten minutes and shits to bed and you're out in the middle of nowhere so as soon as we're done running it we're gonna crack that wonderful rolling rock pale ales and doing a quick look around make sure there's no oil leaks or anything else yeah I think she's good well, it's motherfucking beer time. Another project to scratch off the list. There was no more rattling, so I don't know if that spark plug boot helped out, if that was the case. Our few videos ago when there was those pine cones or small rocks, or the heck they were, <clears throat> in the exhaust flap there. Now, the generator's still not as quiet as I would like it to be. I don't know, maybe the new ones are. This is like probably one of the first ones ever made. But we're going to end this video here only because tomorrow we're starting on the Chinese Husqvarna build and I don't want to be mixing videos. So some videos may be obviously longer than others. Because I got to get this shit ready for winter camping in a few weeks. So if you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.